So my name is Stu Maddox, and this is my co-producer, Joseph Applebaum. And uh, we're going to show you uh, some clips this morning from a new film and talk a little bit about our professional journey that turned into a personal journey around loneliness and isolation. It's been fascinating and surprisingly um, fun, actually. I, we never thought a topic like this would, would be uh, uh, this, but uh, we'll explain it as, as we go on. Joe, you're going to uh, be in the audience. I'll be up here. We'll kind of field questions. And uh, just let us get set up here real quick, and we'll get started. It was so nice to meet many of you last night uh, at our screening of our LGBT uh, aging film, Gen Silent, and it's even better to see you back this morning. That's a good sign. So um, what we do is social impact documentaries. Um, Netflix is great, but what we do with our films is work with organizations like this one to have grassroots screenings in communities um, like this and then start a dialogue, a conversation that oftentimes affects change in a community. It's called social impact producing. And uh, that's what we like to do with our films. Netflix is great, and, and eventually this film may be there or maybe streaming. But the most rewarding part is to, um, to have a conversation and a dialogue around uh, clips and a film, which, which we're going to show you this morning. This is a sneak peek of what we've been working on for the last two years. It's, as I said, tr it's truly, actually, loneliness and isolation is a truly fascinating phenomenon that takes place uh, physically, uh, mentally, socially, uh, um, uh, uh, sociologically. So it kind of crosses all the boundaries. Um, and I think it's never been more relevant than it is this morning, actually, with this, uh, this possibility that we may all be self-isolating uh, very soon. We think, we think of it as a problem, and, and if we think we have to uh, actually uh, proactively self-isolate, then we may want to talk more a little bit this morning about how to do that in a way that isn't going to end up isolating us permanently. But let's dive right in with our first clip and take a look at uh, what the film is all about. In Liverpool, England, there is a sculpture of a woman. She's from a song by the Beatles. And here we have the Eleanor Rigby statue on our right hand side. And this is put here in 1982. The song has another name, All the Lonely People. This is our point of departure to travel the world and learn why there is now an epidemic of loneliness and isolation. I isolated myself because I thought that's what I had to do to survive. <laughs> By some accounts, three out of four of us on this planet say we're lonely most of the time. There's evidence to suggest that it is increasing. Researchers now think chronic loneliness is as bad for us as smoking. And it, it leads to a number of very serious health risks. For the most vulnerable, you can't afford to write this off. It's really dangerous. It is not okay that we don't learn about this in medical school. We have to have this integrated into healthcare. We meet people who get their dream in life but at the price of being dangerously isolated. Loneliness comes with having a child. I mean, are there like over 600 people in this building and I don't know many of them. I do love you and I want our relationship to work. And I know you do. It all revolves around this lack of any connection outside of us as a couple. We find the human spirit creating ways out of crippling loneliness. The answer is probably not completely what you expect. We discover whole countries making it a national priority. I'm living again. 
we've raised that kind of conversation, that national conversation. But you live on your own now, don't you? Yes, I do. I lost my husband and he died in the But there is still one thing that is keeping any of us from getting better. It's still not okay to admit, I'm lonely. There's got to be something, there's got to be something wrong with you. Yeah, there's a stigma. Yes, it's gone awfully embarrassing admitting it. And I think once you admit that, that's like everything else will fall into place. So we'll start. We're the filmmakers, and we're on this journey because we're lonely. We're part of all the lonely people. So it's, it's with a lot of help, uh, a lot of hard work, and a little bit of luck that we find you uh, this morning after being on that, that long winding road for the last couple of years creating this. We, I think I should tell you up front, are not aging professionals. We're not uh, researchers, we don't wear lab coats, but we are observers, and we observe your work, and um, we put a face on some of the research that is being done out there. And I think the advantage that we bring to this conversation about loneliness and isolation is um, an outside view a little bit, and, and a 10,000 uh, foot high, big picture look at what's going on out there. And so this morning, here's what we hope we can bring to the conversation. Why this is happening now with loneliness? Why is this so important in this moment? How is it impacting us personally in our professional lives and also as caregivers? How some organizations are helping those they serve to ease loneliness and isolation. We have a look at some of the interventions around the world that can be emulated cost effectively and actually it looks like with minimal impact to teams. Uh, they actually have a lot of bang for the buck. And the best for last, we are going to look at how to protect ourselves long term but also in the short term because I think there should probably be another line underneath here this morning. Um, how do we survive the self-isolating that we may have to do very soon in large numbers? And during that part, we're going to take a test, uh, each of us, to determine our own loneliness. It's a very short quiz. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to ask you throughout the morning to uh, just navigate to this page on your devices, allthelonelypeople.com, that you see there at the bottom. Plenty of time to do that. We'll put the website up uh, a number of times and uh, we'll take the test at the end. If you don't have a device or you have a problem getting to that website, we'll also do it manually. You can just uh, add up your score at the end. But it'll be very interesting to get a baseline for our own individual loneliness. And there'll be plenty of time at the end for questions and answers. 